Hello YouTube, TJ Disney Live here. Today I have another really cool knife to unbox for you. This one is coming from SPK Unlimited. Uh, this one is a uh, SPK Lamia uh, from their recent job. I'm using my Gen 2 SPK Lamia to unbox this. Uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. Cut this uh, box open. Made in the manufacturer in the USA always cool let's see what's inside here looks like we got the knife and we also got some stickers check out the stickers first get it out your logo and also the Lamia seeker cool I think he also made some uh, fixed plays maybe sometime in the future I will check that one out as well here is the Lamia check out the mailing I believe this is their nature grip mailing pattern super cool looking and the clip has the logo on it and the old gen 2 version doesn't have the logo on the clip but it does have the, uh, the logo on the blade you can see cool uh, let's give it a flick very good very good action and uh, check out the blade there is milling lines on the blade you can see super good looking very good in hand all four finger grip very comfortable check out the action pretty smooth i believe this gen 4 is uh, on bearings uh, only and then the Gen 2 uh, originally it's uh, on washer but I have someone uh, did a bearing uh, mod so now it's on bearing very good action drop shuddy and this one right out of the box it's drop shuddy super smooth acoustic on this one it's very good as well listen okay check out the pivot this is their flat pivot screw looks pretty cool satin finish and the gen 2 has a ti connector pivot screws and this skills is kind of like a vapor hone or zero blasted kind of feeling which makes almost like a matte finish looks super cool and on the blade is uh, distressed looking as well more like a monotone very good looking okay now let's uh, actually do some size comparison um, okay bring out my spectacle para 3 As you can see the para 3 is a little bit shorter than the Lamia and how about the PM2 PM2 is uh, a little bit longer so right in between the PM2 and the Para 3 okay how about compare to the CRK Uman Zong yeah a little bit shorter than the Uman Zong how about uh, compared to my Blorock BRB4 
they are quite similar in length. Actually, the Lamia is a little bit longer than the BRB4. How about compared to the Euster Duckling? Yeah, Duckling is just a touch shorter than the Lamia. Okay. How about compared to this Gen 2 Lamia? I believe they are uh, identical in length. Okay, now let's actually weigh this knife, see how much this knife weights. Okay, this knife weights 3.453 ounce. Very good, uh, very good for EDC. And yeah, let's actually cut something with this knife as well. So I've got a piece of paper here. Okay, here is a piece of paper. Very sharp. Yeah, this this knife is uh, like a full fly grind, super slicey. Right out of the box, very good, very good looking knife. Set the paper aside. Now let's talk about the price on this knife and the uh, availability as well. Uh, this one I got it for seven hundred and eighty dollars, I think. Um, yeah, it's not cheap, but. Uh, it's all American made and it's small volume. Uh, you can only get it uh, from his drop and also on the secondary market, which makes it so um, hard to get. But uh, yeah, it looks so cool. It's this smelling pattern on it. Oh, this knife has L Max steel, which is like a super steel as well. Very good, very good steel. The action, so addicting. Very smooth. You can see. Cool. This is my first impression and unboxing of this SPK Lamia uh, Nature Grip. Let me know what do you think about this knife. Uh, in the comment section and I hope to see you in my next video. Take care.